right so what is cracking everybody we're back with another banger today um i was gonna post like a couple days ago but i actually twisted my ankle and bro it was swollen up like i was hooping i twisted my ankle i thought i had like really broke it bro it was like terrible it was like swollen up for like a good amount of days i couldn't walk couldn't put any pressure and so it's just been kind of miserable i've been trying to get out content but this video you know it involved me walking i was gonna pull the car out I'm still thinking about pulling the car out, but like right now it's super early in the morning. My son's asleep and this car is pretty loud, so I don't know. I might just show you off from over there. I'm not sure. I might pull it out and show y'all. But either way it goes, I'm gonna do a review because everybody's been asking about this and I'm just gonna give it to y'all. So I get messages all the time asking me what are my top five. Like if I had to pick five parts to go with, like what are my first five I I went with or what I would go with um with new edge and i'm just tell y'all right now you feel me just so i can give y'all the best bang for y'all buck and y'all not just sitting here buying stuff that y'all don't really need or buying stuff that's just overpriced and you you don't really need that right now you feel me so i'm gonna get straight to it <sighs> dang I'm trying to think if i should pull the car out bro I, i'm trying to think if i can just roll it out because it is kind of like on a little slope but at the same time hmm i don't know y'all i'm gonna sacrifice this for y'all my little man might wake up, but I'm going to sacrifice this for you. I'm going to pull it out real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Um, I actually didn't even pull it out. Funny thing is, it's because I don't even have the key for it. I remember I took the key off of my ring to give it to my cousin because he was driving the other day when we were doing burnouts and stuff like that. So I took the key off because I needed it to drive the other Mustang. So I don't have the key. I got to find it. I don't know where it's at. I was hoping it was in the car, but... It's not, so I don't know. I gotta find it, man. <laughs> Unfortunate. So this wasn't meant to be, but I did manage, even on my hurt, beat up ankle, to push it out, to roll it out a little bit. So y'all are in luck. I'm gonna show y'all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to it and show y'all my top five. What I would pick if I were jumping straight in to the Mustang game or anything at that. You feel me? Just, but you know, specifically new edges because I'm gonna tell y'all. On new edges, they did lack a lot on these cars, so there is a lot that it kind of. I mean, there's, there's not a lot, but there are main components that it, that it takes to make this car look good, like right off the rip. So um, I'm definitely gonna give you all those. I'm gonna try to keep y'all on a good budget, not too you know crazy on the price end, but I'm gonna give y'all what it's gonna take for the car to look good. You feel me? So that being said, let me show y'all what's up. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of bright out, so whatever. But um, first things first, what I would buy. I mean, the very first thing, obviously, that everyone should buy when you're purchasing a new edge is obviously this bad boy. It's kind of beat up right now, but you get the picture right here. So the um, the Mach One chin, chin split or the Cobra, whichever one you go with, you know, they're they're all. I mean, it's just tomato, tomato. The Cobra one is a lot smaller, so you will be able to get lower if you're if that's what if that's what your goal was, like, because this lip does eventually you know limit you. I mean, you do have to get pretty low, but it does limit you. Like right now, I'm gonna take this off. I think I'm just gonna run it with no lip until the Cobra one comes in. But um, if you're just trying to get a good, clean, like aesthetic look, everybody goes with the Mach One chin lip. So get that, man. Super cheap. You can get it on LMR, I think, for. 60 bucks or American Muscle, I don't know, one of those. I'll put it up, I'll show you guys in the picture where it's at and the prices and all that stuff for these. So um, that's the first thing I would get, rule number one, that's gonna change the look of the entire car off the rip. Bang, two, this right here, you guys know. <sighs> Can't see, but coilovers are a must, bro. Coilovers are an absolute must, so. Um, Again, these cars, y'all know, bro. If if y'all have owned a new edge, if y'all have been rocking with these cars, if y'all know what's up with them, y'all know they are monster truck, four by four, crazy height when you get it. I don't know why Ford did that, why they thought that was cool or whatever, but they're super, super, super high. So, bro, get Lawrence Springs. Just get some Lawrence Springs if you can't afford coilovers. Just cop some Lawrence Springs, bro, and just like, bro, I promise you, Lawrence Springs and a lip off the rip your car will look entirely different you feel me my promise so buy some lower springs you can get them i think again i'll post it somewhere you can get them for 120 130 150 if you want a better ride quality obviously you can go with the more expensive one get lower take um eliminate that wheel gap 
I'm gonna put the cheaper ones on for you, you feel me? So I'm gonna post them, y'all will see, and I'm gonna help you all out with that, you feel me? So the third one is, oh, just, let me show you, let me show you. It's actually in the car, bro, you feel me? It's not more so like the outside, but what I would do is, oh, car's still kinda dirty, obviously. Um, right here, man. The short throw, I posted this in one of my videos before. Um, where I got this from, I posted it again. Look at that, there's spider webs in this, bro. <laughs> but, um, short throw, bro, it's gonna change your whole life just because you guys know when it comes to these, again, it's just so these shifters come so high and so ugly, they just look terrible. Mine's high right now, obviously, because I got a shift knob and I got everything connected different. But if you just get the short throw shifter and you feel me, if you just get everything like a little, like a hearse or whatever you want to put on it, everything's gonna be. Everything's gonna be like a lot shorter, not super, super short, because these just don't go super, super short. Short throws, but with the gears, would be my, uh, which would be my next upgrade that I would do to these. With the gears, if you go 393s, 410s, 373, whatever you go with, um, they'll definitely shorten it up, link to the short shifter. So just, um, so the third one would be the short shifter. Like I said, you will see it. I mean, it'll feel so much better than that, that squiggly high little, it's terrible, bro, terrible. So. I would get that and then the fourth one would be gears obviously i mean it, these cars aren't the fastest so when you, if you're if you're like thinking these are the fastest which i'm gonna make a video about it you know what to expect when you do buy these new edges but these aren't the fastest so gears um i would run 373s you can run 410s if you want to go crazy but 373s or 393s are gonna be i have 393s in my in the 04 and 373s in these I was gonna go 410, but I was like, nah, because I still wanna drive it for like a daily, I mean, not daily, but just for like a comfortable purpose if I do wanna like go out. And believe it or not, bro, this car still has AC and all that. It's pretty crazy. But um, 373s will be just fine, bro. It'll be perfect with that short throw and you'll be completely happy. It'll wake your car up a little bit more than those long gears. Because you know, if you have a new edge, bro, you're in those gears for like third gear is like your fifth gear. You don't even go into fourth really, bro, unless you're really like going hard. But on a day to day basis, like just driving, around time doing that bro you stay in third the entire time like seriously so um like fourth gear is your overdrive like if you really trying to if you really want to get technical about it it's weird but yeah so get the gears bro get the short throw it'll wake it up you'll be so 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 glad you bought those two together you feel me so just buy those two again i'll show you the prices on those um 373s i don't think they're that expensive i'll show you and then the short throw i'll show you mine again which one i got the billet the whole setup i got again it was i think it was like 160 164 or 180 bucks off of uh lmr or american muscle i'm not sure again i'll link it up because i want you guys to just have fun and enjoy the car you feel me so i'll show you guys where i got that from and then the last thing man honestly bro what i would get is the exhaust or if you don't want to get the exhaust you know obviously get the cobra bumper right there um because it does change the look a lot like that aesthetically makes it look so much more pleasing so that's another thing that i would really consider getting if you were thinking about um like your upgrades or your mods or whatever you want to call it that would definitely be if it's not five it would definitely be six just because you have to get a paint match and stuff like that and i don't know how much it'll cost you feel me as far as price wise but if not just get the exhaust bro because you know, like everybody, like I said, if you have a new edge, you want a new edge, you know, bro, these come with two cats. These come with, like, the resonators, all that. It comes with so much stuff that makes these things sound literally like a Prius. Like, it literally sounds like nothing when, like, from the factory. It's crazy it sounds. They really don't sound like anything. So, um, bro, take all that out. Get, like, get some X-pipes or h Whatever you want to get, bro, just get something that's going to really open this up and make this thing just... Because, you know, the crazy part about it is they're not the fastest motors, but these are, like, one of the best sounding motors. These HOs are, like, one of the best sounding motors you can get, bro. So, these 4.6s are amazing, like, as far as sound-wise. So, just, bro, get exhaust, open it up. It'll sound amazing. It'll look amazing once you get your front, uh, once you get your chin lip, um, the coilovers. You can get wheels if you want, but that's more on, like, the budget end, like, you know, on the higher end. I don't know how much you guys are trying to spend, but I'm trying to keep it on a budget. So the coilovers, the lip, get the gears, the short throw shifter, and the exhaust, bro. And you'll be a, you'll be, you'll literally, you'll be an animal on the streets. You feel me? You might, you might not go the fastest, but you'll look damn good, bro. I'm telling you. 
it'll look damn good and you'll have fun with it with the gears i'm telling you so just do it man so those are my top five for you guys i just want to make a short little video since everybody's been asking you know what should be their top five that they get like after they bought their new edge or whatever and you know it's bone stock what should they do their, their first five things on a budget so that's what i would do man again i'm gonna put them all over the screen to show you guys like pictures of them and show you the prices and you guys can calculate and add up the totals if you want just whichever route you want to go but um yeah man i just want to help you guys and tell you guys like what i would go with you know so one i'm, I'm gonna just run down it one more time one would be uh mach 1 chin split if that's what you want or cobra whichever one you're gonna go with two would be coilovers or lauren springs if you're on the more of a budget in i would obviously go with lauren springs um and i'm gonna show you guys the cheaper end ones and then the higher end ones and then three would be short throw obviously man just to get a nice clean feel in the mustang and then four would be link the gears up to it if you're gonna go 373 393 410s um, it's all your preference, however you want to do. 410 is going to be super aggressive. You're going to be ripping it from red light to red light, but it's going to be damn fun. And then last but not least, get the exhaust, man. Open it up. Just open it up, man. If you can't do anything else. Just open it up and make it sound good. These motors literally sound amazing to me. Like, like in my opinion, they sound even better than the newer ones, bro. So just open it up let it breathe take all those cats out take all, all, everything they got double in there just cut it out and take it out and just let this baby breathe you feel me so that's gonna be it man i'll wrap it up with that y'all again if y'all have any questions just let me know i'm gonna make another video on what you should expect when you're buying a new edge obviously like you know just just the common problems common issues all that stuff like what you should actually look for when you're buying it obviously you guys want low miles but i'm gonna tell you guys everything else the ins and outs of these cars and if somebody's in the market of buying one if you're thinking about buying one i'm going to tell you guys what to what to look out for and what to avoid you feel me so i'm gonna wrap this video up post like every two days now my ankles feeling a lot better so i'll be back on the post and grind but um yeah that's gonna be it for this one i love y'all so much please make sure you like comment subscribe turn on the post notice so y'all see every time your boy posts and i'll see you on the next video peace